the last two years. Cody Zeller. In one of the most underwhelming signings in free agency, the Pelicans signed Cody Zeller to a one-year deal worth around $3 million. While it wasn't the big name that Pelican fans were hoping for, I think there are a ton of positives to take away from this signing, so let's get into them. He can run the floor. He puts pressure on the rim. He's a, he's a playmaker at the top of the key. So, um, yeah, I thought tonight was the best night You know, we've seen Cody since he's been back. The main reason that Cody Zeller was brought in is because he has a ton of experience with James Borrego and his offense as they played together in Charlotte for a very long time. Having a player that knows your system and can help teach it in practice, during games, and if needed can play if injuries occur is genuinely a very smart move. I actually commend David Griffin and the front office for making a good move even though it might not be the flashiest move that we all want to see. Uh, my personality is very laid back. Zeller is not going to be your backup big. Cody will more than likely come into a position similar to Willie Hernan Gomez's role last year. The difference in these two players is that Zeller is at a point in his career where he is content to be a backup player. Where a guy like Willie was coming off a FIBA MVP and was making it very evident that he thought he deserved a bigger playing role on the Pelicans last season. Accepting your role, still showing up, and working hard is exactly what you need from a guy who's going to be your backup, backup center. We heard the nickname you have with Cody. on the He came up with it. Black man and Robin, baby. The Pelicans employed two players last year at the big position who genuinely could not set valuable NBA screens. I know this seems like a throwaway point. However, the NBA is 100% about space. Cody Zeller can create that space where other players who used to be on the Pelicans really could not. Whether it was lazy, whether bad positioning, or overall complacency about their role on the roster, they decided that they did not want to put effort into the small things. And to me, that's where a guy like Cody Zeller really thrives. Yeah, I'm, I always uh, try to play unselfishly, um, you know, especially in the pick and roll. Um, you know, I can, uh, you know, like in that kind of in the pocket pass area. So I know that CJ and Dame attract so much attention. Um, sometimes two guys to the ball. So, um, you know, a lot of times they'll find me in the short roll or the pocket pass area, and then it's for me to make, make the right play. Overall, this isn't going to be viewed as a home run signing for the Pelicans. It's definitely not one that makes fans of the team very excited for the next season. However, it is very fair to view this as a smart and calculated move to help usher in the new roster and new coach into a direction that James Borrego's offense will lead them. So overall, I think it's a positive, and I think that Pelicans fans should be excited to see what James Borrego's offense will do and how the center position will be utilized this next year. 